In June of 2017, rock music fans were very concerned about Ivan Moody. He abruptly left the Five Finger Death Punch tour to head to rehab. At that time, then Bad Wolf singer Tommy Vex stepped up to fill in for Ivan. Ever since then, rock music fans have closely associated the two singers. After all, it was rumored at the time that Tommy could even end up becoming the Five Finger Death Punch lead singer. That never happened because thankfully Ivan has since been able to get sober and he is now looking and sounding great up on stage. And the band is currently in the studio working hard on their highly anticipated new album. As for Vexed, he spent much of this year embroiled in a legal dispute with Better Noise Music and their founder, Alan Kovac, who manages Bad Wolves. He also notably manages Motley Crue and Five Finger Death Punch. For his part, Vex contends that Better Noise Music and their founder, Alan Kovac, are refusing to allow him to release new material. The terms of Tommy's contractual agreement with Better Noise are unclear, but it is commonplace in record deals for the label to be able to refuse to release content solely at their own discretion. Bad Wolves have since moved on with a new vocalist by the name of Daniel D.L. Laskowitz. Their new single, Lifeline, has been well-received by fans. It's their fastest rising song on rock radio, with the band releasing their new album, Dear Monsters, this Friday, October 29th. For Tommy, his repeated disparaging comments about his former bandmates and his contentious legal dispute with Better Noise and Alan Kovac appears to have alienated Tommy from even those who were once in his corner. Take Ivan Moody, for instance. The Five Finger Death Punch vocalist has recently been promoting his brand new book, Dirty Poetry Volume 1. The book, which is being distributed by Z2 Comics, offers a window into the mind of the vocalist of Five Finger Death Punch. Ivan's included a collection of original poems and dark art that he's put together himself, and he's been spending time on his Instagram signing copies of the book for fans. During those sessions, Ivan has been taking questions from fans, and one of the questions he's been asked the most is, what are his thoughts on Tommy Vexed? Of course, anyone who's followed Five Finger Death Punch for any period of time knows how outspoken Ivan Moody is. Here's what Ivan had to say about Tommy during a couple of recent Q&As. Am I still friendly with Tommy Vexed? Friendly? Yes. Yes. Friends? I'm not sure if we ever were anymore. Uh, listen, I'm not going to get too far into it, but um, I don't understand people that believe half what they say and say half what they believe. And, and you know, I just don't get where politics got so massively involved with the kid. Uh, I think you got a little taste of it and and the the love, I guess, that comes from picking a side and in my opinion got stuck. And I've said this actually that I wish he would just come out and say, listen, I fucked up. The thing about it is, and if you want the truth, is that Zoltan managed them. I've been friends with Doc and John from Bad Wolves for almost 20 years. When I first did pre-production with Motograder, John, the drummer from Bad Wolves and Devil Driver, who is not a paid player, he's one of the best musicians I've ever met in my fucking life, was living in a jam space 20 yards from me. Yeah, way before I met Death Punch. So for me, that relationship goes deeper. Doc, I knew Doc, I toured with Doc and God forbid for years and years. I love the guy. Corey and, and Byron, that whole collective. They're fucking rad people, man. And so when I hear about one of them getting choked the fuck out over something really minor, no, I watched something of him on stage where he's just going off. You don't fucking know, man. You fucking know the politics and you're fucking up in this country. And he's fucking up everything, everything, everything. This motherfucker has fucked and I'm just like, play a song. Play a fucking song. Write it down, put it into script, and make music, which is what people are fucking paying for you to do. In another Q&A from earlier this week, Ivan again received multiple questions about Tommy. 
yes, fine. If you want to talk about him, let's talk about him. Let's just get it out. Who fucking cares anymore? This dude's a waste of my time. I don't know why you guys keep bringing him up. He's more worried about me than I am him. I'm sure you know who the fuck I'm talking about. <sighs> Some people's kids. And P.S. The reason I don't talk shit online and I don't need to is because if I have a fucking problem with somebody, I'll just go to their fucking house. I'll show up and we can talk. Really talk. I don't have to sit here on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter. It's just pipe. That's all it is. Pipe. Anything I have to say is either on the record or I'll say it to your fucking face. I got no time for bullshit, man. And I ain't trying to make anybody popular by giving them my fucking yes or no. Fucking suck it. You know what? I don't care what other fucking people say about me. When did anyone lose sight of that? From day uno, I have given two motherfucks about people's opinions about me and my life, except for the ones that count. I would be lying to you if I said, I mean, I'm not innocent. I've, I've written so many songs about, about things that I feel and the way that my head works. So I, I don't know where anybody got off thinking that talking shit about me for one was going to get some reaction. I mean, if I react to something, it's because it's personal and it goes to another level. Um, otherwise, you know, and I know who you all are talking about. So let's just put this to rest. I don't even want to say the name because it's not worth my fucking energy. That's the truth. While other people are out there fucking trying to get others to gravitate towards them and to, and to prove something. This, I choose to be here making monsters. Next. You can grab a copy of Ivan Moody's new book, Dirty Poetry, Volume 1, at the link in the description. That's your latest update from Rockfeed. Be sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future stories. Check out the recommended videos on your screen and visit rockfeed.net for more.